What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I am making a video about 10 psychological tricks that women cannot resist. They be like, yes, daddy, please take me home now. I'm telling you. But uh, disclaimer, those tricks, I'm giving them to you, but it's not for you to abuse them. It's not for you to uh, to play with people's hearts, okay? If the bitch likes you and she wants more from you, don't, don't play her. Tell her, uh, yo, I'm just trying to fuck, you know? Don't be that guy. All right, before we start... I <laughs> wrote a book. I'm too excited. I need to come down. Uh, I wrote a book. It's called The Ultimate Love Cheat Code. So if you want to bag a bitch, if you want to bag a woman, if you want to bag anything, anything you want, it's in the book. Yes. And it's an ebook and also a course. So whichever way you want to figure this out, there's all the ways over there at shopmanymonaco.com. Please and thank you. All right, let's jump right in because this topic about manipulating uh see i'm crazy it's not about manipulating bitches it's just psychological because you like her it, so it's not to manipulate it's you like her you're a good guy and you want more with her so that's why you're using those number one spontaneous trade transfer so what it means is that when you give a compliment to someone that is around you when she's around she will associate that compliment with you so if you tell her that someone is so nice and so smart, blah, blah, whatever you want to say, she will associate the same traits with you because you are able to recognize those traits in other people. If you are talking about someone else to her, make sure what you say is never negative because if it's negative, she's going to think like you're negative and that's something you might do to her with somebody else. So make sure it's always positive so then she will think positively about you. I know you're like, what the fuck you're talking about? I am telling you, it's scientifically proven. Number two, don't ask, tell the bitch, tell her, sorry. So there is no, can we go to dinner tomorrow? No, we're not doing that. It's tomorrow, let's go to dinner. You're not asking a question. You're just telling her tomorrow, 7 p.m., let's go to dinner at this spot. I'm going to pick you up. Be ready. How can a bitch say no to that? How? I'll be like, uh, yes, daddy. <laughs> what should I wear? Number three, lightly touching. So yes, you got to touch her. I tell you all the time, the touch barrier needs to be broken. But slightly touch her to the point that she doesn't even realize that you touched her. Actually, in a French study, <laughs> yeah, I found that one back home. In a French study, it was men standing in the corner trying to get the attention of a woman. So when a woman would come around, he would try to talk to her and uh, get the number. The men who touched the woman actually lightly on the arm or something got twice the success at getting the number. We can make this up. So when I tell you all the time, the touch barrier, you gotta touch the bitch in a civil manner, obviously. Don't get rejected, don't be like, don't get her to look at you crazy. But yes, touching, it's important. Also what's important, if you get to fuck, is to be a good fuck. I sound terrible. But it, it is. It is the truth though. So that's why I'm bringing you today joy mode. Because joy mode is all natural. Maybe you see those pills at the gas station and you're like, mm, tempting. No, it's not tempting at all. You're going to end up in the hospital. So if you want to try something, try joy mode. This is the sexual performance booster. And you need to see this as the pre-workout for sex. So because I say pre-workout, you put this, you open the little package, you put it in uh, six to eight ounces of water, you drink the whole thing and you make sure you take it 45 minutes to four hours before you need to perform. Yes, because this is designed to support erection quality, firmness, and sex drive. So I'm telling you, even if you're happy with what you get and what you're doing, why not be better in the bedroom? That's going to make you like, if you were an eight, which is great. Shit, I would like an eight. But with this, you'll become a fucking 10. So where do you find this? You go to usejoymod.com slash Melly. You got to put slash Melly because you will get 20% off your first order. If you don't remember to put slash Melly at uh, checkout, you enter Melly. And then you still get the fucking 20% off. So go, go be on your way. Go be on your way to, to fucking good. Number four compliment the ass i am telling you okay so this one first off let me give the disclaimer this is for somebody that you're already dating not some random 
a bitch on the street and you're like, damn, that ass fat. No, no, you're not doing that. So you got to be with somebody you're already dating and you cannot abuse it. So you cannot use it too, too much every day. Oh, the, your ass. Oh my God. No, but I am telling you why you need to use it with the girl that you're dating because women want to have a big booty. Everybody, every woman, <laughs> I am telling you, even the one with the flat ass that act like, uh, I don't care. If she could have a big booty, she would. And the other thing is, we want men to notice that we got ass. So, some of the phrases that I love, then maybe your ass, have you been working out? I haven't, but yes, oh, it's big now. <laughs> I still know it's not big, but the fact that you're telling me it's big, I'm thinking it's big and that you like it. Oh, baby, your booty right now. Or oh, damn, your ass in those jeans. Yes, yes, yes. Give me those uh, compliments all the time. The thing is, when you give that compliment, you got to exaggerate. Yes, you got to be over the top. So she's like, oh, he really he likes it. Number five, another mental trick. Smell amazing. Study shows that smelling good is actually more important than having a nice face. <laughs> that's crazy but that's true you know when a man walks by or on the elevator he walks in and right away i'm like oh i didn't even see your face yet but i'm like i need to see his face to see if that match um the the fucking uh smell you know because we are primal we are animals in a way yeah we we smart or whatever but we are animals so this city is so attractive a, a man that smells good oh my god i am telling you number six mirror their body language so when they do something do the same i know it looks weird it sounds weird but it's been researches that says that when you mirror somebody it makes you look more attractive in their eyes don't ask me but it's a fact number seven tell secrets you gotta talk a little bit about yourself because when you seem vulnerable and open to to share about yourself it makes for a deeper bond and a deeper connection so you can do shit like i don't usually talk about this or i haven't told this to anyone even if that's the same shit that you're repeating to every bitch that you go on a date with we don't care just the fact that we're gonna feel like we're special because you feel comfortable enough to share something with us or another one i don't know why but i feel comfortable telling you this oh yeah that means i'm better <laughs> i'm telling you that's what comes to our head we think we're better than the than the next bitch number eight let people talk about themselves people love talking about themselves so don't cut them off don't interrupt actually just actively listen show them that you are listening nod your head and cross your arm lean in uh do the mm, wow oh ooh, 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 uh, not too much obviously but do that to show them that you are listening people are so into themselves and the fact that you are actually listening to what they're saying they feel important it's rewarding to the person so keep on asking about them i'm not saying you can't share about yourself at all but people love talking about themselves it was a study at harvard that showed that they were asking participants questions and when the questions were really interesting and they were talking about themselves, the, the part of the brain that shows entertainment and uh, happiness and all of that was lighting up. I'm not lying to you. Number nine, do more fun shit and be interesting. Yes, women want to be around men who are interesting, who are intriguing, who do a bunch of fun shit because you know what? We don't want to miss out. We just want to go and have fun. You know, that's what women want to do. So if we see you and we feel like you're doing fun shit, we want to be part of it. If we see on your Instagram, damn, he went skydiving. Damn, he's at the bar being the life of the party. Damn, he's having a good time. We want to be there. It's that easy. You don't need to do shit. You just got to show when you're doing fun shit. And number 10, be a man. I know I don't like to tell men to be a man, but sometimes mm, mm, it's questionable. Uh, but yes, women want to be around a man and a manly one is, I'm telling you, way more attractive than a um, super feminine one. Um, I hope I'm not um, hurting anybody's feelings, but I am telling you, if I'm a feminine woman, I want a manly man. That's just what it's going to do. That's the math. Don't blame people for where you are in life right now. Uh, take responsibility. 
uh, be accountable, do what you said you would. That's the type of shit that women actually enjoy. Be a gentleman too. We enjoy that shit because nobody does it. Do you open my door? No. Do you pull my chair? No. Do you guide me by the small back? No. Nobody does this shit. The one who do, we're like, excuse me, take me home now. Not like that, but yes, like that. All right. So, so that's all I got for you guys today. I hope um, that was helpful. I think it is because it has nothing to do with money because all of you always be thinking, oh, I'm not 6'4", I'm not rich, I don't got a nice car, she's not going to want to go out with me or talk to me. That's bullshit. I'm not saying that wouldn't help. Obviously, having all those things will help you. But if you don't, you're not doomed <laughs> to be single forever and miserable. No, you're going to have a good life. Use those. Use those. I am telling you. Also, if you need more, if you need to know more, <laughs> the fake hair coming through if you, if you need to know more you can uh i was gonna say you can do my book and then i had a picture of you putting the my, your dick in between the pages of my book that my brain is out of control this morning but you can uh read <laughs> read my book or listen to it there is an audio version or uh just the course you put it on the computer on your phone and you just watch like you're watching today i have that a whole little package put together for you you see me i look nice on there actually i i, I put some makeup on i got my hair done go check me out oh that's some of the stuff i'm wearing on here you see it's yeah anyways all right uh it's at um shop .com. please and thank you and uh that's it that's what i got for you oh and if you need more advice on one-on-one -on -one, you know more specific just you and that bitch you call me you call me on the video call at patreon www.patreon.com slash and uh, we can uh, organize that all right i love you guys and i hope you're using those today watch i, I want you to write me some comments and tell me maybe it worked that would make me feel good <laughs> i mean if they work for real don't come on here commenting yeah it's working be lying you didn't even use or try to use all right i love you guys and i will talk to you soon soon <laughs>